Hey guys, Ivan here and in today's video we got some really really interesting bodybuilding updates and I'm talking actual bodybuilding updates, we got some photos and videos of some you know top bodybuilders and it's very interesting to see what they're looking like at only 3 weeks out of Mr. Olympia and the first one as you can see is Samson Dauda who right now all we're talking about is whether he's going to finally bring the conditioning, is he going to finally nail it, and let's take a look, let's see what he looks like at three weeks out. Well, he is massive, that's for sure, he's definitely huge and freaky, as far as conditioning, you know, at three weeks out, this kind of conditioning, it actually looks very good, it looks good, you know, it's not like mind-blowing, I don't think it's going to be like some sort of crazy next level conditioning on the Mr. Olympia stage, but I believe it's going to be his best ever, overall, I think he's going to be very full and very big and decently conditioned, he is not going to be off, and that most likely is going to be enough in my opinion. I think, I don't think uh, Samson needs to be diced, I don't think he needs to bring Hari Japan level of conditioning in order to win the Mr. Olympia, I think he is that good that he can get away with simply being on, you know, and that's all, like last year the Mr. Olympia he was off, he definitely wasn't in good condition, at the Arnold Classic earlier this year, you know, he was okay, but it still wasn't great conditioning, this time around, at three weeks out, I believe he's basically the same kind of conditioning he was bringing to the Arnold Classic stage, I mean, let's check it out actually, so the photo on the left is a couple of days out of the Arnold Classic, and the photo on the right is right now, three weeks out of the Mr. Olympia, now I think his conditioning on the left is a little bit better, I think I'm seeing a little bit more, more lines in his chest and also in his outer sweep of his quad, but maybe he was simply dehydrated for the show because he was a couple of days out and if he did a peak week right now and dehydrated he would probably look the same, you know, or at least close to it, and the thing is also I don't know what exactly he's doing right now, but like I, I don't think he shot all his shots, like I believe he still has, you know, a couple of aces up his sleeve, from what I heard from him on his like Q&As and so on, I think he still didn't use all of his tools, like he can still up the cardio, up the fat burners, you know, make some changes with uh, his uh, gear and so on, and he can get drier and harder in the next three weeks, if he's willing to truly push it now, I think that would be the best uh, thing he can do, like I don't think he should like be worried about how big, how round he is, because he's still going to be the biggest guy on that stage, probably, you know, and also like with his shape, with his structure, he doesn't even need to be like bigger than uh, let's say Nick Walker, he doesn't really need to be a mass monster, he's not going against a big Rami, you know, he's going against Derek and Hadi, smaller guys, shorter guys, who have like really good structures, uh, really good conditioning in certain areas and so on, so if Samson is just really conditioned, and I'm not talking uh, same level conditioning like Derek from behind or Hadi from the front, I'm just saying decently conditioned, in, in good condition, and he can definitely bring that, if he's looking like this at three weeks out, he can definitely bring that, if that happens, I have him winning, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna make a prediction video these days, soon, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be Samson who I'm gonna have in, the, in that first spot, and that's not because he's sponsored by Hostile, of course, I have been a fan of Samson long before I was sponsored by Hostile, and I'm not gonna get paid more if I put him in first, so guys, stop your conspiracy theories, that's not the case, I'm really a fan of Samson's physique, because I always prefer taller physiques, but I also like mass monsters, so like, I I'm a fan of Nick Walker, probably, after, after Samson Dauda, Nick Walker is my second favorite bodybuilder today, so I don't have Andrew Jack in that mix, because he still needs to put on a lot more muscle, like especially in the side, in the side poses and the back poses, and Samson is very complete, guys, like he is already done, you know, it's all about bringing the conditioning, and it feels like he is doing that, it feels like he is going to be in condition this year, he is going to be on, now one thing that is kind of worrying me based on this video is like his midsection, it seems like it's protruding a little bit, and that was sort of an issue at the Arnold Classic, but who the hell knows what he did before this uh, posing here, maybe he had a lot of water to drink, or like he had a big meal, you know, I hope, uh, he actually was having these issues at the Iron Classic Ohio, but he fixed them for the Iron Classic UK, 
or at least he controlled his midsection better and he didn't carb up heavily. So I think he's going to have that under control. Yeah, it's looking a little bit, um, you know, weird here. It's not looking the best, but it's not really a problem with Samson Dauda. Overall, he looks massive, he looks freaky, he looks big and round, and it seems like he's actually finally bringing the conditioning. Alright, next up, we got a physique update from Wesley Vissers as well, at 3 weeks out. He did a guest posing, and he's revealing basically his entire physique, and we can see clearly where he's at right now, and let's take a look. So, the main thing I was worried about uh, when it came to Wesley Vissers this year is that he's also going to miss with conditioning, because... This year, the Arnold Classic, it was his first year, first edition ever that was really conditioned. This is the, the only time that he was really in shape, you know, peeled completely and also peaked very well. And I don't know if he can actually repeat that. I mean, nobody knew. Also, you know, when he was 110% on at the Arnold Classic, that was his absolute best ever. He still uh, beat Ramon Dino by only one point. And Ramon Dino was off at that show, and that's the argument that people have who don't believe Wesley is going to beat Ramon Dino on the stage, but you guys also gotta consider that Wesley was never even close to Ramon Dino before that show, like, nobody thought he was gonna win the Arnold Classic or, you know, even place inside of the top 2, top 3, like, prior to that, he was placing, like, 8 in the Arnold Classic, he was never in shape. He was a famous YouTube guy, but he was never a top guy. Like, yeah, I mean, you can say he was top guy because he was, I believe, 8th at the Mr. Olympia the year before the Arnold Classic, but, like, he was never really in contention with the top guys, the very top guys, like Ramon Dino, like Coors, like Sebaum. And at the Arnold Classic, he just beat everybody. He just went through the, the, the entire lineup. He beat everybody and he won the damn thing. And yeah, it was by one point, but, like, who even expected him to be, to place that high? So now that he established himself by also winning the Arnold Classic UK, and if he nails the conditioning for the Mr. Olympia too, I mean, anything is possible. He can definitely beat Ramon Dino again. Now, as far as uh, pushing Chris Bumstead or beating him, I mean, like, I definitely don't imagine that happening. Nobody does. But when we see these guys on stage... Maybe it's gonna be different, you know, Wesley has the, the, the height advantage, so he's going to be, like, bigger, you know, he's going to be wider, taller, he's gonna take more space on that stage, he's going to have, like, a lot of that wow factor, so, you know, he may even push Chris Bumstead, but, yeah, yeah, I mean, let's be real, let's go back to reality, he is not beating Chris Bumstead, I mean, I definitely don't see it, if that happens, I, I'm going to be mind blown, I'm going to be super surprised, but it's not impossible, you know, anything is possible, really, all these guys are very good, and, like, who knows, that, uh, who knows if Chris is going to be at 100%, especially now that we know he's taking 15-minute breaks uh, in the middle of his leg workout, just kidding, just kidding, take it easy, guys, relax, I'm not gonna go after your daddy Bumstead, relax, don't attack me now, I was just joking, Chris is going to win, he's going to win for sure, relax, that break did not hinder his prep or anything like that, relax, guys, take it easy, I'm not gonna say anything negative about Chris, don't worry, or maybe I am, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see, anyways, Wesley Vissers, right now, looks phenomenal, it seems like he's definitely going to be able to replicate his conditioning from the Arnold Classic, and maybe it seems like he even brought up his legs. I mean, I don't know how much is it posing, but it seems like his hamstrings are looking bigger. As far as his upper body, I think it looks pretty much the same, but like he didn't need to make any progress in his upper body, it's already done, it's already great, it's phenomenal, it's only his legs that kind of need to come up, and I mean, they are, honestly, they are kind of looking a little bit wider. Like, I'm not seeing the details that Chris has, for example, or um, Urs Kalecinski or some of the other guys, but I think they're looking a little bit wider. I don't know if they're gonna stay like this. Maybe this is simply because he's not in shape completely yet. Maybe once he dies down completely, he's gonna lose some of that fullness. But I think he de they look a little bit bigger and fuller now, especially from the side and from the back. I think hamstrings came up. What do you guys think? All right, the next guy we got is uh, Mike Sommerfeld, uh, who is one of the top guys at the Mr. Olympia as well. He placed inside of the top five, and he's definitely somebody who is looking absolutely nuts right now. 
and a lot of you guys asked me many times uh, did I see him, what I think about him, and honestly, you might find this uh, weird, but the reason why I don't really follow him that much is because I can't stand looking at him in, the, in those freaking socks, like those compression socks. I don't know why is he wearing them, I mean, is he having like varicose veins, because I didn't see that on stage, I don't think he does have that. I mean, I know some athletes are wearing them. I think they're kind of healthy for your blood circulation, stuff like that. I guess that's the reason why he's doing it. But, like, he looks, his legs look like he, he's a woman, you know. So it's very weird. I don't know. It's kind of distracting quite a bit. You know, I don't like it. I don't like to look at this, honestly. Like, it's weird, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Now, as far as his physique, I mean, let's try and not look at his uh, legs. I don't know if you're if you're bothered by this, but if you are, let's let's just focus on his the rest of his physique. You know, he is very good. He's actually very, very good. He doesn't have a lot of flaws. Like, he is very, very complete. And uh, lately, he figured out the conditioning also. Like, he is bringing good conditioning to the stage. And I think the way he looks right now, he is going to have... He's gonna have to, like, really push, like, further down. I think he's gonna have to lose a lot more weight because he looks uh, too big for Classic. Like, when I saw his physique updates in his offseason, I thought he was for sure switching to the Open. You know, he was doing the bodybuilding poses... He was, like, he looked really freaky, right? Like, he looked like a freak, like an absolute freak. You know, he was super vascular. He was really big, like, really wide and round as well, like, super massive. And also, like, with a very good uh, body fat percent. So I thought this has to be, you know, him switching to the open. And the guy who is standing next to him here in this photo is actually a classic physique high BB pro as well. Not a top Olympian, but a pro. Uh, by the way, his name is John Lofthouse, he's a, he's a posing coach, very good poser, very good coach as well, I mean posing coach, uh, he is also very good, like he is big, but next to Mike here, he looked like he was a man's physique guy, you know, I mean that's not because, of, because he's small, it's because Mike was humongous in the offseason. But no, it's not gonna be the Open, he's prepping for classic physique, he's three weeks out of Mr. Olympia, here is what he looks like uh, next to Chris Bumstead and Ramon Dino, so he's obviously a shorter guy, and, like, on the stage, he doesn't look any bigger. He actually looks even smaller than Chris Bumstead, or at least he did last year. You guys know that shorter guys don't have um, as much of a room, like, uh, they don't have to be as big as the taller guys. You know, the, the, the weight caps are smaller. So, like, he can't show up looking super massive. He's got a downsize, and I guess with that downsizing, he is going to uh, get even more conditioned than he is right now. Where will he place the Mr. Olympia, since he was top 5 already, I guess he is one of the guys that uh, might crack it, but, you know, it's gonna be very difficult this year, I mean, you have Sebum, Wesley Vissers, uh, Ramon Dino, and then probably Urs and Brion, and, you know, who else is gonna, that, that, that's 5 guys, so who can crack the top 5, can Mike do it, I don't know guys, like, maybe, but I don't, I don't think so, probably not, if anybody else, anybody, anybody new is going to crack the top five, I think it's going to be Stefan Matala. You know, that's the guy I'm betting on. But who knows? It might be Mike Sommerfeld as well. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.